Eldans is a Swedish word. It refers to the low-lying fog that rises and hangs in summer or autumn. Directly translated, it means elf dance or fairy dance, for it was once believed that the invisible folk danced along the meadows, and this was their mark on the world, fleeting, eerie, and glowing. Leo, welcome to your winter 2022 into 2023 shape shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like for the winter season. I'm Amanda, although I've been going by Andy lately and really loving it, so if you want to call me that, that's cool. I'm joined today by the beautiful new of Duns in Tarot by Araminta and Timothy Bilek. They used AI technology to contact the spirits and lore of the Alvorna, the Swedish elves, and we have them here with us today in this gorgeous deck. I cannot wait for these cards to read your shapeshift. Okay, Leo. What's the shapeshift for Leo this winter? Okay, Leo, wow, oh, that's a relief, one more, cool, oh, good, okay, here we go, oh, all right, which way do these cards need to be, yeah, um, I think it goes, I think it goes just like this. Take a look with me. So Leo, um, we've got two major arcanas here flanking this center card that says ascend. It's the six of wands, the six of branches in this deck. And then we have um, card 11 of the majors, which is justice. In this deck, it's called Adjustment, which I actually like better. And then, you, so you're shape-shifting out of Adjustment into The Fool, which is card zero. This is, this is the very, very beginning of something new. A totally new chapter, a totally new book of your life. And this happens through some sort of ascension process, some sort of um, adjustment that brings you onto a higher level of understanding or a higher level of experience. When I think of ascension, I think of um, rising to a high point. So maybe this is like a peak experience or a, an experience of visibility, you know, like a high point where you can see everything and be seen by everything. Um, this ascend image is suddenly extremely phallic to me in this moment. So I'm wondering if there is something to that, if like there's this, um, embodiment of power through a masculinity that you are accessing, um, that is, or like, it doesn't have to be associated with masculinity, but it can be this like phallic type power, which is um, the power to assert, the power to see through or pierce through something. Um, there's desire here as well. I'm looking at um, this, like the way these two figures in the Ascend card, it's like they have woven their way up this, um, this path or like step ladder almost to get to the top where they can meet and join and it's like when they do there's this almost fire burst that comes from their union at the top of this energy so um if if you are yeah this could be relational for you if that resonates it won't be for everyone but it's like you and who, you know, Leo, like you and who weaving your way slowly, maybe up this um, ascension to meet at the top and boom, 
new beginning. Something brand new. But again, like we, we are shape, shape shifting here out of adjustment. And there's, there's a ferocity in the spirit of this card, which is, um, it, ha it carries a lot of power and authority and it's the authority of truth, of truth that cannot be denied or, um, talked around or twisted in any way. It's, it's clear, it's straight. It's, this is the adjustment that needs to be made, whether you like it or not. You know, it's a bit of a harsh energy. It's a bit of an energy of like, okay, if you're ready for this, if you're ready for the, the next level or the rise up or the ascension, then be ready for the adjustment. You know, justice or adjustment, this energy um, doesn't necessarily work within your specific parameters of morality or right and wrong or good and bad. It works in the correction or the, again, I, that's why I like the word adjustment because it's much more, um, it's much less bias. It's more objective. There's just some kind of, if this is what you are wanting, if your life is moving towards some sort of new chapter or some sort of clean slate where you are rising above a bunch of stuff that you've been through and coming into your power in a new way, or maybe, and again, some of you that could mean coming together with someone else or like unifying your goals in some way so that you can start this new beginning, then something needs to adjust to direct the energy of your life towards this. And it could be a, a small adjustment. It could be something quite significant, but there's this sense, um, of like needing to surrender to that, you know? It's like if you, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is really storming out there and the wind's just like whoo, gusted through. Yeah, it's sort of like asking the universe or nature or whatever to say like, this is a thing that I desire. And so nature goes, okay. You know, like the universe says, okay, if that's what you want, then the pieces need to move in this way. And you can't always see that from your vantage point, but from up here, you know, ascension from up here, looking down at your situation, the, the strategy adjustment is clear. Strategic moves, Leo. If you want to go here, then you got to get out of here, you know, or you got to, mm -mm, or you got to, you know, I'm like just seeing this chess game suddenly, you know, and I'm even like, I feel like I'm, I'm sitting at a chess game and I'm like looking at the opponent, you know, adjustment or justice can sometimes indicate an opponent. It's like, you know, again, Leo, you and who? Like, who do you perceive as an opponent or, or a force? It doesn't have to be a person, a force that you are working, struggling against. And who is a, a person that you are trying to ascend with? Or a, again, a force, an energy. Um, I don't know, a part of yourself, a, a, an aspect of your life that you are trying to ascend, unify and ascend with. What's standing in the way? And in what way is it like this chess game? There's something very calculated here. I'm gonna read you a little bit. Um, the guidebook in this deck is ugh, poetry. It's gorgeous. Um, if you wanna learn more about this deck, I really encourage you to do that. Um, there's links in the description of this video that take you to the world of the Alvdenzen. Um, it's worth it. 
these cards speak in beautifully mysterious ways. Okay, adjustment, let's read it. I offer myself to the goddess. I ask for her protection and guidance. May the goddess bless us. The goddess is an old friend of mine. She is also the god of justice. He created the world and gave it order. He made the stars and placed them in the sky. The sun rises every day to light the world. All living things depend on him. He watches over his children and protects them. Adjustment serves the god of justice, or so she says. She is the ideal attorney and she has existed long before the earth was named. She's not a human spirit of the dead. She remembers fallen civilizations. The actions she may consider justified would likely chill you, but she is an unrivaled ally. Wow. The ideal attorney, there's that strategy that I was feeling and she has existed long before the earth was named. She remembers fallen civilizations. That's that like that that bird's eye view of the game that I was sensing. The and and again like the adjustments that she might consider justified to get you to this new beginning, to get you to the full card, um, might chill you. You know, like they might be different from your idea of justice or uh, morality even but the the fact of the matter is she's an unrivaled ally you know if you want help a, this is a spirit adjustment here is a spirit to call when you need to succeed at all costs and there is always a cost again like that's the adjustment actions create consequences good bad and different and it's not it doesn't really seem to be about um, placing any kind of good bad morality judgments on your situation in any way again like strategy is not about that and so maybe leo this is actually a a little bit of uh advice that we're starting to get into already here in this reading which is to kind of take yourself out of any like spins that you're you've got in your mind keeping you in like some sort of morality argument in your own head or maybe with other people in your life just like stuck in this idea of this has to be good or right or that is bad and wrong it's sort of like uh okay yes but you're getting caught up in that we need to ascend you know like let's transcend that way of thinking so that we can actually make some moves and get something done here especially leo if um this like morality dialogue is stopping you from a new beginning stopping you from your potential from your new life from a new life that you could create it's sort of like you're creating irrelevant arguments in your head maybe um that these cards are really imploring you to rise above and sort of like stop distracting yourself in the micro and um, get with the big picture. Interesting. I also would just have to say that the six of wands that we have here is a card of Leo. You know, like this is your energy. So if this is not what your life has been looking like lately, Leo, um, then these spirits of the major arcana are here to help let's read the full to live in a world that does not belong to me to be ignorant of what waits beyond this veil what are we but shadows cast by the sun one who believes she can change the shape of things forever with a single wish that's you, Leo. 
The fool lives a life of contradictions, driven forward by impatience for something to happen. One may find the way she communicates like around like roundabout riddles, although to her they are very direct and sensible. The fool is never satisfied where they are. This is a spirit to help with new beginnings. So the, again, like Leo, there's this sense that where you are just ain't it, you know? And, and if you, again, have been in any sort of prolonged state that doesn't look like this and you are ready, longing, wishing, imagining, if only I could rise above this, get up over this, and get to this new beginning, if that is you, then it's possible that you are in this space where you're sort of um, stopping yourself in your own head. <laughs> um, and it could be that this reading is an opportunity to call on a higher force for help in making the adjust, helping you to make the adjustments needed from a larger vantage to get you to a new life whatever this next life is, that the fool in you is ready to take the leap towards. And whatever it is, it definitely seems to be better than where you are or where you have been. And listen, Leo, maybe you're at the point when I'm, when we are meeting one another where you've already made the leap, you know, like you've already, the adjustments have been made and you are, you feel like you have ascended and you're in the full energy and that's exciting. That's amazing. Um, but I think that there is a lot more that we can find out about this now. So I'm going to really dig into this spirit of justice ad adjustment and see like what what might happen if you call on this energy how adjustment might help you get here you know what what advice this mighty force would have for you what it what action it would have you take really so if this is resonating with you so far and you're into that you want to keep going with me and the elf danzen uh, you can click the link in the description below and that will take you to the shifting space. This is a space where we explore in an online community of people who love these readings. Um, we explore them together throughout the season. So uh, we link them with the astrology as it unfolds in real time. There's community chat space where we can connect with you know, other people in our zodiac sign or in other signs to uh, share our experiences with these shifts. And um, if that sounds like the kind of support you need to make this shift through this season and the seasons to come, I invite you to explore, check it out, see if it's right for you. Um, again, link in the video description to take you to the shifting space um, and to explore the Elf Dens and Tarot. And I hope to see you for the rest of this reading.